the matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. What is up guys, welcome back to a random video. Today we're playing some more EA Sports UFC 3. This is episode number 13 and today we are fighting a very, very hungry challenger in Justin Gaethje. This man is a beast. He goes in the octagon every single time for a brawl. Can Caleb suffice, stand his pressure and uh, ultimately get the win and defend his lightweight strap. Let's find out. Smash that like button if you want to see more EA Sports UFC 3 on the channel. And without further ado, let's get in there. And throw down with Justin Gaethje. Probably one of the best fighters we have fought so far. This is going to be scary. I know Conor McGregor and that is good. And uh, everyone is amazing. But Justin Gaethje just brawls. He will stand in front of you, throw bombs. And he has a chin of steel. It will take a... Honestly, we will need to hit this man with a bat to knock him out. I don't think we're going to get the KO. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Caleb Anderson is ready, as always, to defend his belt. Usually on the uh, first fight of the video, I like to uh, train and film the training. But for this one, this fight is special because Caleb is a brawler. Justin Gaethje is a brawler. And uh, Caleb is getting a little bit old, as we can see from the tail of the tape. He is... Oh, my God. Justin Gaethje is 40? Okay, maybe he's not as old as him. But, Jesus, Caleb is nearly 30. So... His career is definitely going to be winding down. Hopefully, Caleb can retire Justin Gaethje. No respect from Justin. Let's go. Okay, Caleb's twitching, getting ready to start off. Justin Gaethje has a chin of steel, though. So, I don't think we're going to catch him with anything, like I just said. Uh, and then we do. That's crazy. Okay. Caleb is a better striker, but Justin is a different kind of animal. Caleb needs to really use his head movement, use his boxing, and he should be able to get the win here. Good hook by Justin. Just there with Caleb trying to step in. I think Justin's longer arms than him. Got more reach. Caleb trying to flick the jab. Good hooks. Every time on the inside, Caleb throws the hook. And that really does benefit him. Justin's gone for the takedown. I wasn't even looking. I was looking at the screen next to me. My monitor has let me down here. But Caleb pops straight back up. Not giving Justin an inch on the ground. Okay. Caleb looking good so far. Head kick miss. Don't want to throw too many of them. If we ain't landing them, I want to try and mix it up and go for something else. Good hook by Caleb. Okay, the clinch is where Caleb really doesn't mind working. Let's get the tie. Oh, good knee by Caleb. Okay, that's a good position as well for Caleb. Dropping in some elbows. Trying to get the tie position here. Unable to. Okay, there we go. Good break by Caleb. Let's go. Caleb got a cut over the eye. Justin Gaethje has cut Caleb. Okay. Trying to throw that straight down the middle. Good up cut by Caleb Anderson. There we go. Good start to this fight. I think he's winning this round. Just with his boxing alone. Oh, oh, why did I jinx it, man? Caleb is rocked, and he is in a bad way. Justin, with a beautiful overhand strike, dropping, nearly, nearly dropping Caleb. And we have got up twice, and it hasn't let us. Come on, game, come on. Okay, we're up, we're up. Okay, that, is gonna, that could tip Justin Gaethje to win this round. We need to do something here. Oh, we dropped, we dropped. Caleb, get up, get up. Okay, this is bad. Caleb has been dropped. He's been rocked. Oh, dude, if that land up, they knocked us out. Justin Gaethje getting some back in this fight. I told you guys this fight is going to be an awesome one. And uh, it's not really awesome. We're getting our ass whooped. An uppercut by Caleb. Justin's starting to throw a lot more kicks. He's starting to adapt to Caleb now. Isn't good. We've been dropped. Justin's winning this round. Okay. Oh, he took us down as well. Okay, let's get the rubber guard. We get it. Yeah, drop them elbows from this position. Nice, that's hurting Justin. Is he going to be out? Caleb really doing damage with the rubber guard. Just for 13 seconds though. Springs back to his feet. He is a little bit tired. Isn't great. We've done a lot of damage with them elbows from the bottom. Though. That was very good. Uh, but we did get dropped. Nice spinning kick by Caleb. I actually forgot we landed that. But beautiful spinning kick by Caleb Anderson. A amazing spin. Caleb boom. Caught him flush on the chin. But uh, Justin knocked us down as well. Is it going to show us that? I think this is it. Boom. Caleb had no answer for it. And uh, just slipped down. And he was, he was out for a minute there. Justin could have capitalised, dived all over us, and he would have probably been the champion. Justin let him back into the fight, is what I'm trying to say. No respect by Justin Gaethje. Don't want no glove touch. Caleb, though, with a head kick. 
that has knocked Justin Gagey out cold. Caleb Anderson is not a man to be messed with. He knew he had to step up his game coming into the second round, and he did just that. Caleb Anderson finishing Justin Gaethje. Kaboom. Out cold. He doesn't know what hit him. That was an amazing fight. A very close one. And uh, I see the opening, and I thought we need to take it. Caleb just can't take them beatings anymore. He is getting old for this game. And uh, his longevity is running out, is what I'm trying to say. He did wobble us a few times in this fight. As you can see up the top, next to Caleb's head, uh, the bar is about ten. And when, once that reaches zero, Caleb will have to retire because he can't take any more damage, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we get to uh, break all the records beforehand. Caleb is going to be fighting long after the records are broken, if that's something you guys would like to see. But there we go, beautiful head kick KO from Caleb Anderson. Still the top of the 145, I think it's 155. Uh, pound division 145 is welterweight I think I'm not too sure uh, but uh, welterweight um fucking featherweight sorry <laughs> but yeah whether in the uh, octagon or social media Anderson rules it all I would like to read the other bit but I've read it so many damn times you guys can read it if you want and uh, pause the video Paige Van Zandt nice fights congrats and still uh, that's crazy uh, Caleb Anderson getting it done though Justin Gaethje what a fighter that man is and uh, Caleb just put a stop to him in round two. I think I predicted a round three knockout when we're doing the promotional stuff. Uh, I think I said round three. So um, we done it a round earlier is what I'm trying to say. Okay, who are they going to give us? What I'd like to do before um, we check the offer. Who's it going to be? Okay, so Justin Gagey is number one. We have just destroyed him. So it isn't going to be him. Uh, Nate Diaz, I wouldn't mind the Nate Diaz rematch. Conor McGregor, I wouldn't mind. Tony Ferguson, we beat twice, getting kind of old. Uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov, I wouldn't mind fighting again. That was a tough fight, though. Uh, but, yeah, I'll definitely take that fight again. Will Brooks, I would take that fight. Anthony Pettis, we've got some really good names in the bottom half of this. Uh, the rest of them we've already beat. We beat you, we beat you, we beat you, we beat you, and we definitely just beat you. Okay, so let's check the fight offer before we get into the next fight. And uh, hopefully it is pretty good. Who is it going to be? Let's find out. It is going to be... Where is the drum roll? There is no damn drum roll. Um, okay, Justin Gaethje again. He does not deserve a rematch, but there is no other offer. We can't scroll left or right. So Justin Gaethje will get his rematch. Okay, okay. Maybe it's because he dropped us. I, I guess that might be why. Okay, so I'm going to train for the fight, guys. I will see you in a second when it is time to throw down again with Justin Gaethje. Okay, so Justin Gaethje gets his second shot. The fight height for this fight is very, very high. Let's get in there and throw down once more. Where are we thrown down? We are thrown down in Chicago for the lightweight strap. Caleb Anderson not letting go of this belt for the life of him. He will die before he gives up this belt. But here we go. Let's see if Justin Gaethje has what it takes. He did knock us down and he rocked us a few times, but Caleb Anderson was able to capitalize when Justin Gaethje was stunned. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully Caleb does the same. Or hopefully we don't get rocked or dropped down or anything. Uh, but yeah, uh, Mark Hunt, Travis Brown, Junior Dos Santos, or Dos Santos, can't read, Caleb Anderson's mum even, if you hear someone screaming by the Octagon tonight, it is me, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, let's get in here anyway, let's throw down, this is going to be a crazy fight, I think Caleb Anderson is going to get it done, I think he's going to get the win, not too sure if, uh, if it's going to happen or not, but I, I think he can, I think he can get the win, we did drop him. And uh, we did knock him right, spark out, so um, yeah, I've got a lot of faith in him. Justin Gaethje is a beast. He deserved the rematch, kind of, I guess, on the premise that he knocked us down. But apart from that, what else did he really do? He took us down a few times, but even then, I think we dominated him on the ground. He's trying to throw wild overhands already. Every time he throws an overhand, we're going to catch him. I think we're going to we're going to knock him out a lot sooner tonight than we did the fight before. Okay, I'm trying to throw big moves, get him out of there, but it's not happening. Good slip there by Caleb. Oh, good knee to the body. Nice. Kind of scared it was coming to Caleb's head. Okay. Good overhand there. Cracked in there. That's nice. Yeah. Justin looks a little bit roughed up so far. Kind of what we want. Leg kick there by Caleb. Setting up some things there. Okay. He's really doing a good job of leg kick by Justin. Getting off these shots. Trying to head kick. It is moved out the way of again. Oh, nice He's there. nowhere near the range oh, for them head kicks. Okay. And this one looks a little bit more smart. We're fighting a lot more smarter instead of brawling. And he's looking for Something that Justin left. Gaethje should have probably done about 15 billion fights ago. But there you go. Just over three minutes to go Justin now. Gaethje's busted up. 
Gets gets straight there by Caleb, add into the effect of that bloody nose. Okay, Justin tries for the takedown, Caleb wasn't even there. Straight by Justin. Oh, good kick as Justin comes in. Okay, let's get the over-under. No. Single collar's nice. Good elbow. Let's break. Landing a few elbows in the clinch, mixing it up a little bit. Good head kick there. Pressuring him now. Doing what Justin Gaethje does best. Caleb swarming him. Spinning back fist, but it's not enough. Body kick by Justin. Establishing the jab here. Oh, dude, one day I will land that. <laughs> okay, good uppercut. Caleb trying to slip. He knows the punches are coming. There we go, good slip. Caleb just looking to brawl now. There we go, we dropped him. Body strike, nice. Caleb looking good this round. Justin Gaethje is busted open. Let's keep going. Good jab by Caleb. Oh, the good rock there by Justin. Nice. Okay. All right, let's get, uh, can we get full guard? I want to get full guard. Try and get the gear team. That's not full guard, is it? Can we get the gear team? We can. Okay, we got him in the gear team. Let's go. Jeez, how the fuck? Oh, my God. Okay, he's denying that. Let's try and get the rubber guard then. Okay, we got it. Nice, nice. Land the elbows again. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. There we go, nice. Okay, good first round by Caleb. Um, definitely won that round, 100%. Destroyed him. His nose is broken, busted up. And uh, yeah, that was definitely Caleb's round. Can we continue on? I have no idea, but so far, so good for Caleb Anderson. I don't think these two like each other. No touching gloves. Let's go. Oh! I knew we'd land it. I just didn't know it'd be that savage. Caleb Anderson again defending that title. Dude, that was insane. Boom. Justin hit the mat like a bag of potatoes. Boom. Nighty night, man. He was out. I don't think he deserves a rematch after that. We came back, and I think we fought a more dominant victory that time than the first fight. Maybe, yeah, he did drop us, and uh, we dropped him, though. But, um, yeah, we, that fight was a lot more of a dominant victory over Justin Gaethje. I think that has silenced all of the deltas, and, uh, yeah, Caleb Anderson, 100%. Uh, is the better man. Now, uh, he's beaten twice now. Very, very dominant. I can't speak. Very, very dominant victories. And uh, yeah, I think that was awesome. They're going to leave you though. What is good? My dear, what is going to be going down? Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. In every combat sport, it's a well known fact that it's harder to defend a title than to win it. So when the UFC lightweight champion set the record for the most title defenses, it marked this longtime champion as not only the most dominant title holder ever seen in the octagon, but as a legitimate and likely Hall of Fame candidate. Oh, yeah. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the All point. right, Megan. That is awesome. Caleb Anderson, again, breaking another record, breaking another face, and just getting more wins, racking them up now. Who is next for Caleb? Let's find out, and uh, hopefully it's all good. Uh, so far, so good. Two wins in today's episode. No losses so far. Uh, touch wood, but we <laughs> we still have we still have one more fight. Um, I think we've got enough time. Six minutes into this uh, cut, and obviously we have the other minutes we uh, fought. But uh, yeah, I think we still need we still need another fight. And if it's as easy as that last one, god damn, I think Caleb has really really uh, started to really get in the winning groove. I guess he's started to really really start to move up in weight. And uh, he could go up to welterweight. I don't think you can, actually. I would like to move up in weight and fight like Tyron Woodley or something. But we've already moved up in weight once, and now we're in the lightweight division. I wonder who they're going to give us. Please don't be someone we've already fought. I want some fresh faces that we can destroy. Who is it going to be? Come on, game. Anthony Pettis. That is a very good fight. He is a very creative striker. Let's get in there and throw down. Caleb wants this fight. Anthony Pettis is a beast. A very good fighter in real life. I think he's fighting Tony Ferguson very soon, and that is going to be an amazing fight. 
But uh, yeah, we're going to go to the kickboxing gym, throw down, and prepare for Anthony Pettis. Now, he is a beast. He has some of the best KOs in the UFC. So uh, yeah, this is a fight that shouldn't really be taken lightly. Caleb is going to have a very, very tough fight here with, Caleb, um, with Anthony Pettis. And uh, yeah, we just had two fights with Justin Gaethje, though. We should be pretty good because uh, he is an absolute warrior. Uh, yeah, is there anything we can even incre uh, increase? Yeah, there's toughness. We could do a little bit of that. I mean, Caleb could do with some of that anyway because uh, he does get hit. He does get rocked quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, we need to really just get that fitness up. So I'm just going to do one random thing. Get that fitness up to 70 so we can manage to go and spar. So yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this series though. Thank you so, so much for your support on this series. It's one of my favorite things to do on the channel. We've got 80 episodes now. Over 80 episodes is absolutely insane. Anyway, let's spar for Anthony Pettis. Dynamic Strikers is what they say he is. And uh, yeah, he has a very good arsenal of kicks, a very good arsenal of punches. Uh, but Caleb Anderson, if he can weather the storm, will be very good. Boom, good kick there. Oh, that would have been nice, man. Okay, trying to switch in music. Didn't land. Oh, dude, if that had landed, that would have killed him. Okay, as you can see, he is. Uh, I think he's trying to mimic Anthony Pettis. The way he punches, the way he kicks, the way he moves, what he's going to do and when. Um, yeah. It's going to be kind of annoying because we're ready for Justin Gaethje. Two fights in this episode have been against Justin and uh, the way he fights. And he just scraps for days, man. Caleb, though, preparing for Anthony Pettis. A really big fight. I'd like to have fought him a little bit sooner, maybe when we just won the title. But he actually dropped down in the rankings and then he worked his way back up. Kind of cool. But, um, yeah, it is a fight that I've wanted for a while. Cracking in there with a beautiful kick. Um, okay. Go. Maybe I'll try and get the guillotine. Try and sink in the guillotine submission. Caleb, obviously not winning by any submission. He has just been knocking people out for fun. Maybe that could be pretty awesome trying to get a guillotine in the uh, fight. Because I don't think we have any. I don't think we have any submission wins. It would be very awesome to get one. But I think they're a little bit difficult to get. Okay, let's just increase a bunch of this. Get that toughness up to maybe 100. Okay, leg strength as well. Let's work on some of that. We have five points. We can't even spend them. So let's just go into the next week. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can uh, get some training in and prepare for this fight. Oh, no, we can't because we have to promote some shit. Uh, National Sports TV interview. That isn't too bad. And we are fit. So we're pretty much ready for the fight. I'm going to go ahead and just do a load of promotional stuff. Get this fight up. It doesn't really matter at this point, but... I mean, it just makes the things go a lot quicker. We don't really need to increase anything anymore. Caleb is pretty much maxed out. So, uh, yeah, well, I think we're good. Let's attend the UFC event. That's all good. That is 70 points. So that is crazy. And then another 20 here. And then we will do a post to social media. Nice. And then, uh, yeah, we should be all good. Should be all good. Anthony Pettis better watch out. Dude, Caleb talking shit online. That is not good. You don't want to talk shit and then it backfire and you get knocked out, Caleb. Come on. Come on, man. Okay, so I'm just going to literally promote. I'm going to promote this whole thing so we can get into the fight. The fight hype should be very damn high. Really? Look at all that promotional stuff we did. God damn it. Okay, Anthony Pettis gets his shot at Caleb Anderson for the belt. We're in London, England as well. I could have seen this fight. I live in England. Uh, but yeah, nowhere near London. But um, Well, a little bit, I guess. But yeah, anyway. Caleb Anderson, Anthony Pettis, a beautiful striker with Anthony Pettis. And Caleb Anderson... It's just he's very well rounded. He fights good on the ground. He fights good in the clinch. Fights good on his feet. He is very well rounded, and uh, that could cause Pettis problems because uh, I don't know. I don't really know what Ke uh, Pettis is like with uh, his ground game. I don't know about his clinch game. I know he's a very good striker. So if we can find a way to kind of get a way in, and uh, we could really, really use that to our advantage. Maybe he's not too good in the clinch. Maybe the first round, I'm just going to test him out and see how he is everywhere. Maybe on the ground, try and shoot for some takedowns. And uh, stuff like that. But yeah, let's go. Right, Anthony Pettis, Caleb Anderson. Let's go. Let's roll. Caleb is now 30 years old. That is crazy. Well, let's roll, boys. Right, no touching gloves. Pet Pettis don't so like him either. Okay. Try the head kick there. So you can not just a Jab straight. Tonight, okay, I know Pettis is a very good kicker. So Caleb trying to gain his really respect with some kicks. This is going to be a very... Very smart fight. It's not going to be a brawl. But Justin Gaethje is going to be a lot of counter punching, a lot of accuracy, a lot of speed. Caleb pressuring, pushing 
head this up against the cage. That is where we want him. So we can't use his very good kicks. Tried the spinning back fist there. Caleb actually caught him though. Just cracking him, trying to pressure early. Oh, oh, okay. Pettis is busted open. Let's get the single. Tie. He's blocking the clinch. Okay, break. Don't want to use too much stamina in the clinch. Going to push him up against the cage though. Because you know he's going to throw them kicks. He's cut, he's busted open. Oh, he's dropped. Oh, nice. Caleb Anderson. No one should write him off, man. No one should doubt him. Okay. Good slip there, my pet. God damn. Okay. Trying to get the clinch. Why is it not working? There we go. Engaging in the clinch here once again. Okay, good elbow. And now he's got that's where he wants us. We'll okay, break that. That one hurt. That is, gets dude, we are getting mauled here. Oh, dude, dude, if that had landed, honestly, Caleb would have probably gone to sleep. Good fight here under two to go. Wow. Oh, we cracked him. Okay, this is looking wobbly. Caleb on top, trying to finish this fight. The ground and pound now. Landing a vicious elbow. Okay, Pettis trying to get up. He gets it. Anderson dominating Anthony Pettis. Rocked again. He's down. Caleb. Oh, I was looking for the armbar. God damn it. I want a submission win, man. He's out. Caleb Anderson. Ground and pounded Anthony Pettis to the victory. That is crazy. Another win for the old veteran. And there we go. He is down and out. Awesome hook. Rocked him. Knocked him down with a jab. I was looking for a submission. That is why I didn't dive all over him and get the finish. Plus, it was awesome as well because we got a nice ground and pound finish. Uh, diving on him. I think we landed a mad elbow. There it is there. Cut. Boom. Right on the cut. And then we finished him here with that shot. Nice. Caleb Anderson again with another win. Who can beat this man? Who can beat him? He has been champion for a very long time. He lost it. He got it back. And I think we're going to see a lot more of Caleb Anderson as the champion. I can't see anyone else at all beating this man. But there we go. His longevity, 51%. That is going down. But, you know, he's getting these records up. He's, uh, he's really, really moving fast when it comes to these records. So uh, hopefully we can get some more wins. And uh, we can retire as the greatest of all time. But there we go. And still Caleb Anderson. The belt stays where it belongs. Oh, yeah. That is damn straight. Can we carry on? I want to see if we can be a champion until our longevity runs out. That would be kind of cool. I don't know if that will happen. Usually fighters, when they get older, they tend to get beat by the new younger guys coming up. And then they end up just being like a journeyman, fighting everybody. I don't think Caleb is going to be that person. Michelle Walterson, nice fights. Congrats and still finishing Anthony Pettis there with a crazy shot from the ground. And uh, yeah, let's just see who they're going to give us for the next episode. This episode's been crazazy. Two back-to-back -back wars with Justin Gaethje. And then a crazy first-round finish for Caleb Anderson against Anthony Pettis. Who are they going to give us for the next episode? Uh, if we get a choice, I'll let you guys decide. But I don't think we really do as a champion. We just have to fight the next best guy. So we will see anyway. Who's it going to be? Awaya Quinta. Now that is a good fight. He is a very good boxer. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. Anyway guys, for today's video, that is going to be it. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please smash that like button, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you for more EA Sports UFC 3 next time. Stay awesome guys. Have an amazing day. And I'll see you all again in the next video.